Hey, I'm Daniel Norton here in my studio in New York City with Lorena. And we are going to make the simplest portraits ever. <laughs> I get a lot of questions about gear. People are always concerned they can't, you know, get out there and work because they don't have this or I need that or I don't have that. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna make a super simple portrait, show you how we can do it really, really easy. No matter what gear you have, uh, you have your subject. We're gonna make, uh, we're gonna use the windows, right? Window light is one of those classic things that people talk about a lot. And I happen to have south-facing windows. And if you have south-facing windows, you probably want to use some kind of a shear on it. Otherwise, your light's going to be very, very hard. You want it to be a little bit softer because uh, if the sun is in the southern part of the sky, the sun itself will be your light source. The sun is small, thus hard. If you have shears in your window, the shears become your light source. They're big. They're going to give you nice wraparound light. So that's going to be our main light source. I'm using a flag here. You could use, and we're going to use this actually, foam core board as a background. You just need to be big enough to basically cover the person. And what we want to do in this scenario is we want to put them pretty close to it. The reason for that is because we talk about this in other videos, what they call the inverse square law. All that really means is that the further away something is, the darker it's going to be, further away from the light source, right? So if we want the background to stay, let's say red, we need it to be close to Lorena because that way you'll, they'll be in the same light. Simple enough. We'll start with black though, because that's the easiest one. All right, so I've got you there. I'm literally just going to use the meter in my camera. I'm going to go for a relatively shallow depth of field because again, I don't really want the background to be sharp because it could be whatever it is. I mean, in this case, a flag, but it could be duvetine. It could be a piece of foam core. So I'm going to focus on her eyes, which is what we care about the most. And I'm, I'm going to, I'm at F2.2, 60th of a second, 100 ISO. Let's take a shot. Nice and simple, right? You're going to look at your first shot. You're going to determine if this is an exposure that you like. You're going to make sure it's sharp. It is. You have that beautiful window pattern. If you want it to be brighter or darker, this is when you want to make that choice, right? The simplest thing to do is to jump into Capture One, grab your exposure slider, bring it over to where you think it looks good. And that's pretty good. So we want it to be a tiny bit brighter. Remember, the meter is going to give you what it thinks is the right exposure. You need to make that choice yourself. I think in this case, I'm actually going to give it more ISO as opposed to uh, shutter speed or aperture. And the sun got brighter, way brighter too. <laughs> yeah, the sun just came up, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, it looks like the sun's bouncing around here, guys. So we're going to do another easy thing, which is we're going to use aperture priority. Okay. So what aperture priority is, is that you decide on an aperture, and then essentially the camera will pick the shutter speed. So I'm going to put an aperture priority. I'm going to set it at 2.2. I'm going to give myself a little bit more ISO, and the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want the shutter speed to get too slow. So I'm going to go to one, uh, let's go to 200 ISO. There we go. Perfect. Nice and pretty, nice and clean. And now if you want, again, if you want to adjust it up or down, what you want to do is you want to do what's called exposure compensation. We click on our exposure compensation and we give it just let maybe a third more light. It will make the shot just slightly brighter. And there we go. That's pretty nice right there, right? So we like that, right? Nice and contrasty, nice and pretty. Let me get one that's a little bit tighter as far as focus is concerned. When shooting this wide open, you really want to be careful where you're focusing. Good. Good. Good, good, good. Hold, change my focus spot. Good. Of course, depending on the camera, you might have like eyeball focus and all kinds of other stuff going on. That's why they have those things. Good, pretty, right? Nice and simple, nice and clean, black background. Looks, looks almost professional, almost. You know, nobody would know that we weren't in a proper uh, studio. We are in a studio. Nobody would know that we weren't in a proper studio, <laughs> but you know, we don't have to be. We literally could be doing this anywhere. Uh, super easy, right? That's pretty good. Clean, right? That's black, let's do white, right? If we want a white background, dun, da, da, da. a piece of white card. Again, this is the reason why we're keeping her close to it. If we put the white card, you know, five feet behind her and we're using the natural light, it would be not white. It would be gray because there'd be more light on her than on the background. But since she's close to it, it should be pretty close to white. Now, what they call, sometimes they're called commercial white. Uh, it's usually a little blown out. So this is not going to be that. There we go. 
So it's bright, right? It's not super, super white. It's pretty close to it. If you needed it to be super white, here's where we can play around. Again, we can come in here and grab like our highlights and bring them up. You know, and we can get it nice and white around the edges. And now we have a nice clean commercial white. Same thing, right? It's basically same light, slightly different tweak, different attitude, right? Looks pretty good. Let's shoot a couple with the white. Good, good, good. Nice. Good. Good. Hold on one more. Nice. Pretty. Playful, fun. Cute, right? Nice and simple, white, clean, fun, right? And then we have white headshots. We can do whatever we like. Again, we've got black and white. Pretty, right? And you could really do this with anything. It just so happens that at the back of this is red. This is just a piece of poster board glued on. Thanks, Seth. I actually used this before in a video as a reflector to reflect red into the shadows, but we can also use it as a background. Again, nice and simple. Now I'm gonna take the first shot here, guys. And because I made a change in Capture One, oh, I was gonna say I might have to tweak it, but I actually like how you're punchy there. Oh, the red is cool. Yeah. It's got a very kind of like, like a department store fashion poster feel in the junior's department. <laughs> it's like Rampage or something. You're gonna be walking around the mall someday and see that shot. Yeah, there we go. Now my good joke about the department store is gonna be gone. Cool. Yeah, nice and clean. And again, I'm in aperture priority as the light's changing. It's totally fine. Now, if you were use, if you were working with the direct sun, you might not, the shots might not all look the same when, when it's changing. Their exposure would adjust, but the quality of light wouldn't change, right? The difference between a cloud and the sun is, is pretty big. But in this case, because our light source is the window shade, it doesn't really matter. It's just the exposure that's changing. Cool. Here we go. We got red. Kind of a fun, it is very department store, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. So we got the red. I like that one. It's kind of playful. Yeah, Dillard's exactly. <laughs> we got there, we got our white one. Yeah, let's go here. And we got black, right? Three different attitudes, three different colors. Took us four and a half seconds. Well, five seconds, let's say. But it's really easy, right? You don't need a lot. You need a subject that's willing to get there in front of your camera. You need a camera, you need some light. Window light's really great for this. And this board, you get it at wherever you can get drugstore, whatever you get the... Uh, uh, some uh, foam board, you get black, you get white pretty easily. You can get a uh, colored poster board anywhere. And now you've got a whole bunch of different setups. Okay, so I'll put Lorraine's information in the description so you guys can follow her. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV and ring the bell so you get all the notifications. Follow me here on YouTube, Daniel Norton Photographer, and I'll see you next time on set.